Welcome back to Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles, everybody. I'm Hunter Black Luna. Isara. The dreams you left. It's up to us to build them. Hey, kid. I'd like to sing for you, if that's okay. I mean, after all, a promise is a promise, right? So listen up. This is yours. You stood, always smiling, ever quiet, ever tender. And I, a lost child, always frightened. I remember that you came and found me. Chapter 12, The Fight for Bruel. Well, that was a fuck of a way to start the episode. Um, uh, so yeah. I'm honestly not sure what to say about that. Aside from the fact that we've sure killed a lot of people. Oof, it sure has been a while. But, uh, yeah. Figured we should do that very first thing, and I should, you know, probably not try to ruin that. Sheesh. Uh. Sure, why not? Let's say we're still here. I'm sorry, but I don't have any orders to teach you. Hello again, son. Yeah, nice to meet you too, old man. Now let's go to the most absolutely, absurdly cheery... Hey! I'm really not feeling it, Ellen. I'll let you guys, uh... That was a rough battle. and read this. I will. Pretty much already read so. some of these articles. Yeah. Man. I don't know. I think they should have changed the tone of some of this for a while or, or something. Actually, the anime, they do a lot more of the emotional impact of it. I'm not sure how the rest of the anime is. It kind of looked like it had a bit of quality to it. Capital Q. I don't know. I saw some of the scenes like of them... Morning and stuff, that's uh, not bad. 
Let's just do the rounds. If anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. For your squad's exemplary... Thank you, Your Highness. More sniper rifles, like the kind that was just used to murder your sister. Thanks. And an anti-tank lance, which will blow up tanks, like the one your sister built. Yeah. May your allegiance to Galia stand firm evermore. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> it wouldn't exactly fit with the tone of the game to have Welkin become a shell-shocked... nihilistic war veteran by the end of the game, but uh... It's not like he wouldn't have reasons. Oh, and we're not done yet. We still got... I don't know. I'd estimate we're at least halfway through the game, but I wouldn't. It's been, it's been a damn long time. I'll let you know if anything interesting pops up. Now, we can make the Empire understand the feeling by killing many more of their people. All set for you, bro. It's done. I have to say, just uh, randomly brainstorming. Something like a... A, uh... Sort of Spec Ops the Line segment immediately after where Welkin goes on a rampage against the Imperials after they kill her. I don't know. I'll... Something. More like my idea earlier where eventually they stop doing the anime posing when they shoot someone in the face and instead Alicia looks sad about it. I don't know. I'm not saying that is a knock against the game, of course. It's, it's uh, Especially with its age. By the way, it's like the only game I play now that has a decent load time. And it's... Uh... Old? It's not a decade old at this point, surely. But it's, uh, it's getting up there. I was gratified for the resurgence with this game when we, uh... When it was on Steam, basically, and everyone's like, Oh, right! This game exists! Very nice. All this just feels like side grades. If the drive system made you faster, I would sink dank bank into it. As children say. I might do the site upgrade just for... Like, when I shoot the tank, it really needs to not miss. I don't know. I thought... Now, this is the stuff that's guaranteed to be... Hmm. The shamrock. Is there, like, a whole new tier to it? Because... I will sink the money on it, even though we don't exactly have a ton. This is basically what we spent it on. Sorry, bro. Right. I must have already run through here. You know, I said I'd cut this part out. I lied. I lied. Um, the only thing I can think of to talk about in this situation is when I lost my uh, grandpa many years back. I would like be run. I like run into walls for like a week, and it wasn't like I. It was just you know I'd be walking along and then I hit the door frame or fall over and just I don't know. It was like your whole body goes on autopilot or something. Um. My goal is just to get everyone to elites, I suppose. Might be able to do that. Good work! Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order! This is one of those, like, MLG Pro Strats. Like, use this to win the game in one turn kind of bullshit. Something to note. Might be able to do it, let's see. I might have screwed myself out of elite snipers. Go. Okay. Yeah, rip. Uh okay, we'll just do this. Bite the bullet! 
bullet! Can we really not... Sheesh. This Good really work. is like the fucking... Hi, I'm Daisy thing. Hey, Dojima! Remember Come when back your anytime. wife got ran over? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we've gotten literally everyone. Yeah. A lot of characters. One of the other things I kind of wish would be uh, seeing some of these guys in the cutscenes. Come. But I mean, the the amount of bother that would be, it's it's perfectly understandable why there's not. Okay, that's, that's it. Um... Let's begin the strategy meeting. First off, I need to ask. Lieutenant, how is Squad 7's morale? It's been three weeks since we lost Isara. We're all still in shock, Captain. Personally, it still doesn't seem real to me. I can't believe she's really gone. I see. Nevertheless, you have new orders. I sent in a request to General Damon to allow this op, and received full clearance. The Galleon Militia's next task is to liberate a small border town called Brul. <sighs> the regiment will surround the area while your squad enters and secures the plaza. Any questions, Lieutenant? No, Captain. I'm taking temporary personal leave, but I wish you the best of luck out there. Also, I'd like to introduce the new tank pilot assigned to the Edelweiss. I'll do the best I can, Welkin. Kreese! He recently volunteered to be a pilot. I'm hereby assigning him to Squad 7. Isara inherited the Edelweiss from her father. I'd like to take over where she left off. I'm still nowhere near as skilled as she was, but I'll do my very best. Thank you, Kreese. That concludes our meeting. I look forward to good news from Brule. Dismissed. Thousand was Meanwhile. lost, and Gregor with it, in a warrior's death. What comes next, Maximilian? Things aren't looking very good these days. The Empire claimed the earliest victories, and most of Gallia with them. Also, I must say as an aside, after having watched The Legend of the Galactic Heroes, Maximilian, you couldn't... He couldn't be like a sergeant in Reinhardt's army. He's not even that capable. Their struggles since have bested the detachments holding each location. Meaning, we reconcentrate our forces. Yes. Send word to gather our armies on the Nagyar Plain. Silvaria, the time has come to show these rubes your power. Sir. By my Valkyrian blood, I swear the Gallian forces will bow before you. <laughs> I believe it. They won't last long once you get serious. And that's good news for me and the prospects for Firald's reinstatement. Once we conquer Gallia, you shall have independence for your homeland, Jaeger. But until then, you have no country of your own. You shall serve us with your very life. I'm well aware, Your Grace. The fate of the Empire is no concern of mine. But Maximilian, you will be victorious. That's the only reason I'm fighting this war. Another little 
you get Valua over there. Valua, whatever the... We're back. Back to where it all started. It's been five months since we left Brule. Now, all but one of us is back to make this home again. Captain Varat said she specifically requested this operation from General Damon. She said that? Yes. You know how she feels about him, but she begged him to give us Brule. She wanted us to remember why we're fighting, to help us get past Isara's death. <sighs> For right now, let's stop thinking and just move forward. Let's take back our... Take back Isara's home! Huh. Back again. I had to return one more time. But the area we saw last time, no matter what I try, the door won't open anymore. What was written on those walls turns all of Europa's history on its head. It's staggering. It began, Welcome, Sister Valkyria. Did they hide the truth from all but their own? The door won't let me in. Given what's on the walls, maybe it opens only for the Valkyrie. Maximilian got through, but he had Selvaria with him. She must have opened it for him. But wait. The door was closed when we first arrived. Then we... The one who opened it was... thing, wasn't it? Well, I'm glad we watched that. Holy shit. That would also explain why she's such a murder machine if it's true. Hmm. Also, I'm just gonna save the game real quick. You will now be briefed on the operation. Definitely looks like we're pushing back. All thanks to us, pretty much. This is kind of similar. Big Empire presses down on smaller force where only the protagonists are really competent and everyone else kind of sucks. Although when I put it in those terms, it's basically everything ever. Now, this is a very uh, direct map. It's a street. Also, as you may suspect, this map is rushable to shit. I really don't think like I'm gonna do that. No. But yeah, this map is very direct. Push up the front. I might just push up the front with the tank. It seems suitable. Maybe we'll put the scouts in front though. We'll take two scouts. Uh, I don't know if analogy works with such a. Fuck it, wavy. Ah, uh, I want to use different people. 
monster. People are not yours to use. Gotta take the command staff. Sounds like this mission, a sniper will be particularly useful, and Marina is the best. Uh, also take... Doesn't Nadine have a pollen allergy too? I'm glad we can check that. Yeah, um... A lot of other stuff. Carl, you're up. Then... Uh... Why don't we take the most cheerful... How about that one? Uh, not your day, Edie. We'll leave the last slot open in case I forgot anything. I'm hoping this should do it. This is a pretty standard loadout. I haven't looked up walkthroughs of what to do, so uh, this might get ugly. We'll see. All right, we're set to begin. Good luck. Isara, we're taking back our home, East. Squad Seven, move out. Phew. Here we are. Sorry, but I'm a little scared. That's right. This is your first time out in battle, isn't it? Priest, combat is always a scary thing. I don't think anyone should ever forget that. I feel like getting used to the horror of war means losing hope. Yes, sir. I understand. Okay, then. Let's begin. Everybody, watch out for enemy snipers! Alright, let's start with the obvious opening moves. Here we go! There's a hero tank up there, and there's lots of AT guns. I'll take that action. We're gonna drive the biggest fuck tank we can and just fuck Hostile sighted. right up the front. Enemy sighted! And give exactly no shits about their shit. This is horrible! What have they done to the town? We might be able to break their cover without using a grenade, which would be nice. How are you doing on ammo? Or mortar, rather. No, the range is just not working out. Yozna the hound. Yozna the hound. Moda da. Also, smoke rounds. Something to consider. I had actually uh, not remembered quite that. Because, okay, we got snipers and shit. My basic idea is push up each side with tanks as mobile cover. Exterminating where we can. God, these two. Two tank shells to kill him, no matter where we shoot. Now! May need to redo things just a bit. They did both die. You're doing well. Just keep it up. <laughs> I made their trooper elite super mad. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll live with it. Even though we gave him great cover. Something to consider. I am reasonably assured that the Edelweiss can stand one round of all their shit. If it's not, then we will uh, reevaluate the situation. Snipers every damn fucking where. Way ahead of you. Move the shamrock up the other side. Found us an enemy. I feel like doing forward recon, you know, force recon. Take them out, starting with the advance units. Those are big mines. Shame I don't have to give a fuck, unless the movement controls bug out. In which case, uh, then bad things will happen. Okay, um, I'm not actually sure if this guy can be hit by our snipers, which is kind of the plan. 
This mortar shot might kill him depending on how things like actually work. Of course we could also help out with the enemy shock trooper. I don't know, I'm paralyzed by indecision. Could just kill the trooper elite up front and deal with the snipers later. Yeah. Why? Great with that pacifism thing. Who are these guys? Fuck your snipers. Mm. I think exposing ourselves like this might not be the best. We're totally exposed there. Yeah. Maybe like this. We can get Largo behind that enemy tank. We're in business. Those are machine guns, not actual tanks. The amount of reaction fire they'll be able to mount is limited to basically that scout. So if we were to eliminate that scout, Largo could basically just run the fuck up and kill him. Maybe not that time. I don't know. There's a way to do this perfectly because there fucking always is. I'm just not entirely sh I'm not entirely sure. Understood. But I am sure of his marina needs to get up there. Kill some people. Wipe them out. Wipe them out. I may be abusing Magic save running tactics again. Wait. Uh, tell me he's not in cover. He's not in cover. He's just an elite. I'm so glad I paid for that accuracy boost. Well, you know, sometimes. I don't know what I, I know, know but what do they know? Also, wow, game is moving slow. This is this is why the snipers are not MLG pro level choices. Understood. Also, did I mention this game is a bad PC port? You can you can just tell. Nothing personal. I'm reloading. Just am. If you get to fuck, I hate doing that. Take a good look at your surroundings. If you get to fuck me, game, then I'll fuck you back. All right, the plan is simple. By the way, it turns out shock troopers uh tough, tough bastards, but they're never in cover, which is an interesting uh, niggle for things. Here we go. Anywho, step one. Trying to wiggle. God, pilot is so sighted. Enemy sighted. because of the, enemy the way they implemented. I think they meant for it to be like a turret look, but uh, no, that's not correct. It's not how it goes. What if I literally landed it on your goddamn face? Now! Would a more perfect hit do it? Yes, it would take both out, so that saves us a bit. And a bit of heading. Enemy unit neutralized! We have triggered an anti tank mine, by the way. Yeah, that's the first line. I feel like using sniper shots will be important. Shoot with Marina while she advances. Then, uh... The only problem with that being these enemies back here. They're out of range to fire on us from the spawn. But if we get much closer, we need to be in the cover of the tank. Still is a good idea to use Marina on some of these guys, like... Way let's ahead do, of you. Let's do the tank moves first that I know I want to do. Found us an enemy. Then after this one, I'll probably save. Yeah, I'm doing save loading. It's 
it's just... I get the annoying feeling this was how this was the game was meant to be played. Nice and video It's job. time to claim your home with your own two hands. That is if Zaka doesn't miss here. That'd piss me the fuck off. Yeah. I swear sometimes they'll just... It's the XCOM thing. Good work. Also, Keep it up. I'd even argue that the whole missing mechanic is um, not in keeping with the rest of the game, considering, as I've complained many times, this, is, this game is like a puzzle and you have to follow the perfect sequence of moves and you have to whittle down to optimization. And then you introduce the randomness mechanic of aiming, where sometimes your guys just won't miss where they'll hit other times. In a game like XCOM, that, that's like the point. And I love the randomness, and I would never make. If you made XCOM like a sure shot, then that would remove like half the fucking point. But. This is a very directed, focused game experience. Where you're trying to optimize runs, and then you have shit happen. This is a one turn victory map, I can tell. Alicia down the middle. But after doing stuff. I know from uh, unfortunate incidents that there's shark troopers here and here that we need to handle. This guy's a scout elite, but he's not firing poison bullets. Which means it might be easier to fucking ignore him for a while. He is the least of our problems. Also, when we run the engineer up, we'll get another mortar, so... Shamrock can kill people. I think we can do better than two for some of these guys, like move up and eliminate the sniper. I want like one or two people up here. There's a barricade here that wasn't destroyed by grenades. So we want infantry troops to come in. I'd like a shock trooper here. That's why Nina's here. You know we'll get about to here, I think, our first time. Quite remember. I'm pretty sure she can take out this guy, so let's try it. I'll crush him! And if not, she needs to go that way anyhow, so next time I should put Yo. The front lines made enemy contact. Support them! This guy should be good. You're done. I'm not gonna try for style points on the headshot. Just fucking Who are these guys? machine gun them until they are dead. That guy is hyper exposed. Nina might be able to get him next turn, maybe. Either way, I need a shock trooper up there to push the front, so. I want to deal with him, but there's so many other fucking things to deal with, like three damn snipers. Just that I can see. Marina's a great anti-sniper sniper. She can run over here, shoot a shot. It actually looks like Nina might be able to take that scout elite, which would deprive them of a command point, which is super important. Yeah, let's do... Understood. Let's spend some points there, shall we? Okay, Marina. Now, I need you to listen really closely. You have a B rating in accuracy. You're supposedly like the best super ultra badass long sniper. And of course, part of this is my aiming too. Nothing personal. Try not to let your guard down. So anyhow, we're taking our first action with Marina. She's going to step over here. She's going to make the scout elite die. How far north does the hitbox go? Okay. Good night. Thank you. See? No mistakes. 
I'm still a good player, right, guys? <laughs> Sweet dreams. Target Damn. silenced. Head for the next one. Alicia ducked because you might have hit her instead. Fucking hell. Okay. Uh, what else? Is this is horrible. What have they done to the town? Yeah, this does it's seem unnecessary. Alone. Relax. Get you a long Defend time. Defend the perimeter, soldiers. Yeah, she can murder that sniper. That would be good. The enemy tank can also see her from that position, which is... I really don't think he's making that shot. Although, if he wants to spend his turn doing Are that, I should look fine. I think some sniper fire is a good idea. I mean, counter sniper, it, it makes sense to me. If they can hit us, we can sure as shit hit them. Also, I may be save loading every single fucking time. Just to make sure. So we have two of these swine left, and Marina has two bullets. At least the music is always good. The hunt begins. The hunt begins. Okay. She can get into cover from that side. That'll be good. There's a sniper up. The town's a mess. Can't she make it to those trees over there? Probably not. Sniper movement is uh Just stay calm and get it done. Moving's not the point of them. Let's put it that way, shall we? So I'll show you what the point is. I'll show you what a Lucy looks like. Uh... Yeah, the, the other reason people probably don't use snipers too much is this. Hmm. Thank you. God damn. Sweet dreams. Man down. Everybody be careful. Oh no. The bushes! Not the bushes! These guys are just careless. I will bet you anything that blocks my shot. I'll bet you a million fucking bucks. So anyhow, Marina with her third and final round. Take this out. Move the engineer up with one CP, because the engineers move pretty fast, which is handy. You don't want to spend many extra points on that. What we could even do then is, uh, no, we'll have to say. Next turn, Welkin can move up and murder this guy with one turn. As long as he does the same stuff. Uh, Nina's counting on us to remove that final sniper. I think she won't die in a headshot, maybe. The enemy probably has bullshit hyper snipers or something. Then with our final moves, we just move dudes up. Rosie and Alicia may be spending some time just chilling, especially since... Well, I mean, Alicia's gonna be forward, because she's our murderer. She murders the enemy and makes them die. Understood. So now we'll do our happy little... Oh, a happy little sniper over here. It is... I don't know why it's amazing to me that Bob Ross does, like, streams and stuff, but that's awesome. Bob Ross is a gift to the world. I used to be able to do this so much more confidently. Oh, thank fuck. I like the ragdoll effect. I saw the hunt continues. Yes. Sweet dreams. Bring it on! I'll send you to your grave! I get more ammo. That actually will come in useful, hopefully. Well, for right now, her best bet really is to chill out here. All troops, advance! Don't give the enemy the opportunity they're looking for to shoot you. She's probably pretty safe there. Alright. So that's another part of the operation successfully completed. My computer is dying right now, and I'm, uh... Actually, I'm honestly not too sure why. We've had bigger battles. In size and units. 